Learn how to easily assemble your Madison crib and more by following this step-by-step -step video. Carefully unwrap the box. Locate the hardware parts and the instructions in the pouch attached to the mattress support. Be careful not to remove the pouch. Neatly lay out all the large components. For some steps, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. Step one. To begin, find the left rear post, the right rear post, and the back rail. Attach the left rear post to the back rail using three 75 millimeter bolts and three 17 millimeter barrel nuts. Secure with the provided Allen wrench. Then, repeat for the right rear post. Step two. To attach the left and right sides to the rear post, First, attach the right side to the right rear post using two 60 millimeter bolts and one 70 millimeter bolt. Make sure the 60 millimeter bolts are in the first two holes and the 70 millimeter bolt is in the bottom hole. Secure with the provided Allen wrench. Then, repeat for the left side. Step three. To attach the mattress support, First, lift the mattress support brackets up in all four corners. Then secure with one mattress support bolt in each corner. Tighten with the provided Allen wrench. This crib features a three position mattress height adjustment that allows the crib to grow with your baby from newborn to 35 inches. Start the mattress in the top position for your newborn and move the support down as your child grows, using the bottom position once they can pull themselves up to stand. Step four. To attach the front rail to the left and right sides, secure each side with three 45 millimeter bolts. Tighten with the provided Allen wrench. Store the instruction manual in the pouch attached to the mattress support and place all the parts and tools in a safe place for future use. Congratulations on assembling your Madison crib and more.